All right, we're going to make a selectable grid. Let's go. So we're going to work with a stateful widget and the state of that widget. We're going to have an option selected for the current selected data and a check option function that updates that current selected option. Then the build of that widget, we have a scaffold, the add bar and the body. We have a grid view count with the cross axis count of two. So we have two columns. Then the children's of the grid view count, uh, we're going to populate this list of widgets with a for loop that goes through uh, the monster way, the monster way this one. So we have in the monster way, we have uh, a list of maps, the month name and the an image. Okay. So in the for loop, we have the months option. The month option is a still list widget that needs a title, an image, an on time function, yeah, and a selected flag. So here we grab the month title as a string and the month image as a string from the current month map. Then we give it an on tab function that checks the option of the current ID. Then we give it an anonymous function that checks the option for the corresponding ID. This plus one is because we use the zero. We use the zero as a nothing is selected. Then the selected flag is the same as the check option. So the, the corresponding ID is equal to option selected, then the flag is true. All right, so let's see the month option widget. All right, so we have, as I said before, a, a title, an image, a void callback function, and a selected flag. All right, so in the build of the month option, we have an ink image that has an asset image from the image uh, string that we provide to the widget. This is how the inkwell widget splashes through the image below. Then the child of the inkwell is an align that ally aligns an animated container to the bottom center. This animated container has a duration of 300 milliseconds, a box decoration that is the thing that we're going to animate. So we animate the bottom side of the border. We use the selected flag here. And if it is true, we use the, the a red accent or uh, color transparent for the color of the border. And if it is true, it's five pixels. Otherwise, it's zero, as you can see. We use this transparent uh, thing because sometimes there is a sliver really tiny of red that uh, doesn't look good. Then the child of the first animated container is a row with an animated container that has the name of the month. In this one, we animate the background color of the name of the month. All right, so that's about it. If you wonder what this sort of thing is, this means if the selected flag is null, this expression here is going to result in a false. The program is not going to raise an exception because we can't check a bool expression with a null variable. If the selected flag is something other than null, uh, it's going to go for the selected flag, if it's true or false. In the same way, we use this for the title because if the title is null, we, we can't give uh, a null uh, as a string to the text widget with default for an empty string. If we don't want to do this, uh, we could assert the value here, but that's other way of doing this. So this code is in a repo. You can get that in the description and that's about it. Bye.